Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2 DSL Mods Heavyweight Tournament of Robotic Champions in the semi-final rounds. This round we have Team Prehistoric's Grog the Vengeful versus Team Dragon's Shogun. Team Black Storm's Industrial Coal Miner versus Team Spikehead's Big Metal Friend. Team High Voltage's Wide Load versus Team Z's Eye Stabber. And Team Megaton's Undead Beat versus the Team Scrapper's Backyard Shredder. I hope you enjoy the matches and stay tuned as we get the first one set up right about now. Alright folks, here we go with Grog the Vengeful versus Shogun. Shogun's coming up to Grog the Vengeful. And a heavy clash from Grog the Vengeful. Shogun takes the brunt of the damage, however. Grog the Vengeful with a great spinning power there. Looks like both bots are staying towards the corner patrol zone. The crowd's going wild as Shogun takes massive amounts of damage, but manages to keep Grog the Vengeful off of his center axis. If he can slow his spin enough and perhaps flip him, he might stand a chance. Grog the Vengeful over towards the center hazard now. Not sure if anything's going to get dropped down. Both bots need to be careful of the arena hazards. Looks like Shogun's missing one or two of his five blades. Grog the Vengeful has been flipped a few seconds ago. He is now in big trouble. Shogun's definitely going to try to capitalize on that, pushing Grog the Vengeful into the corner. He's lost. Shogun has lost his flags now. Grog the Vengeful being pushed around by Shogun, but Shogun definitely doesn't want to flip him back over by accident. Oh, Shogun getting hit by the um, by the Soul Blade traps on the edge of the arena. That's going to cost him a little bit. Now Shogun definitely... Looks like we've got Shogun at 27,000 points. Just over 28,000. Uh-oh. Looks like he's only got one sword left. Can he pull this off? Grog the Vengeful with 24 thousand points if Shogun actually just leaves Grog the Vengeful which he honestly should he'll just win by points during the count out but it looks like he's going for vengeance against Grog the Vengeful Grog the Vengeful now receiving a count out looks like uh, Shogun's just gonna pin him there and take it take the win all right we've got one for Shogun very good match Team Dragon Shogun with over 30,000 points there for the win. That's one for Team Dragon Shogun. Let's get the second match going right about now. All right, and here we go with round two. Shogun immediately triggering the pit trap. Taking a huge amount of damage, just like last time from Grog the Vengeful, but it looks like if he's not careful, he could fall into that pit trap. Oh, and he's trying to push Shogun into it. Ooh, but he almost falls into it himself. Shogun, or er, Grog the Vengeful in the corner now. Shogun doing all the pushing. Definite control by Shogun. Grog the Vengeful in trouble again as he's been flipped a second time. Shogun getting stuck on the saw blade hazards on the edge of the arena. Definitely going to cost him a few points there for control. Shogun with over 18,000. Grog the Vengeful trailing at 13,000. The arena flip uh, a flip trap triggers, but no one is flipped. Looks like Shogun's still trying to get Grog the Vengeful over to the pit. But no pit for Grog the Vengeful. Shogun still controlling this match. Going for point scores. Amazing. Um what some control from a good bot like Shogun can really do. Grog the Vengeful definitely on the losing end of this match now. It seems he's even lost his um, anti-flip flipper. And Shogun's just going to keep controlling this match until he either wins by timeout, point count, or accidentally flips uh, Grog the Vengeful over, which may happen, but even if he does, I don't know if it will save Grog the Vengeful since he's so behind on points. Shogun taking massive amounts of damage from being stuck on the saw blade traps. If he's not careful, he could have gotten counted out there, but it looks like he um, got himself out of it. And he's, ah, he sees Grog the Vengeful getting counted out finally. His AI is kicked in, and he realizes that the match is all his. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next one. All right, folks, and we're back with Team Blackstorm's Industrial Coal Miner versus Team Spikehead's Big Metal Friend. Let's see what these two bots can do. Mm -hmm. 
I just realized I wasn't looking at the camera at all in that last round. I was literally just focused on controlling the camera so that I didn't lose sight of the bots. Both bots coming in strong. Industrial coal miner. Looks like he's racking up points uh, slowly but surely. Uh, DPS type, damage per second type on that one. Uh, Big Metal Friend going for the slow but heavy hits. Both bots up against the uh, corner patrol zone. Looks like Big Metal Friend probably took some uh, damage from the Solway traps there. Ooh, Industrial Coal Miner's got a really good angle on Big Metal Friend now. This could mean the match. This could be the whole match right here. Looks like Industrial Coal Miner's going to take advantage of that. Ah, but um, Big Metal Friend being invertible still is able to just barely move. Industrial Coal Miner not liking that. Going to go in and tear him up some more. More damage from Industrial Coal Miner. Ironically enough, the point count for these two robots being uh, very close. It looks like... Let me try to get... I want to get that corner angle, but I'm, just, I'm scared to lose the shot. Looks like we've got a count out for both bots now with uh, Big Metal Friend. Um, yep, that's it. That's it for him. Industrial Coal Miner took a lot of damage in that round, though. I feel like that could have gone either way, but the first round goes to Team Blackstone's Industrial Coal Miner. All right, let's get that written down and start up with round two. All right, now I've got that written down. And we're zooming out. Industrial coal miner. Zigging and a zagging. Whoa! Somehow manages to... Somebody got... Oh, it must have been the uh, flip, uh, the arena flipper. Poor... Uh, poor... Um, Big metal friend, man, got flipped like crazy. Um, industrial coal miner just working him now, getting that countdown. Oh man, the AI, good AI on the industrial coal miner. He realizes he's got the match. If big metal friend used his primary weapons, though, he might have been able to self ride himself. But unfortunately, both rounds go hand down to Team Black Storms industrial coal miner. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back with the next one. All right, we're back, folks, with Team High Voltage's Wide Load versus Team Z's Eye Stabber. Let's get right down to it. This week's matchups are brought to you by Butter. I can't believe it's not Butter. All right, we've got Wide Load coming in there. Need to watch out for that middle hazard there. Eye Stabber, ooh, automatically just right into a bad angle there. Now, what I wish this game had... I don't know if I can activate that mod, but I wish this one had the, um, it's called the bot cam. It just hovers directly over the two bots fighting. And it's always very accurate, so me controlling the camera is okay, but the NPC controlling it is much better. We've got both bots stuck up on the flipper. Looks like, um, they're gonna need to back up and get out of there. Eye Stabber taking massive amounts of damage. Looks like he's about to get flipped, and there he goes. Wee! More like Fly Stabber. Oh, that sounds terrible. I hate myself. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, I Stabber, he keeps getting stuck on top of Wide Load. Wide Load dealing massive amounts of damage. I Stabber definitely in a bad spot. He wants to get in behind Wide Load. Uh, whoa, boy. Never mind. He wanted to get in behind Wide Load. That is what he wanted to do. Okay. Round two coming right up. All right, you two, let's get a good fight. Let's see what's going down. Let's see what's going up, down, sideways, all around. Eye Stabber coming in again, trying to get uh, to the side of Wide Load. If you could just drive over him and turn around, the Wide Load's going to get all of that nasty damage up underneath the chassis. Woo, racking up them points fast. And then he just drops him. Poor Eye Stabber. Just total tight match up here for Eye Stabber. Definitely in a bad position. Does not look like he's going to be able to do anything against Wide Load in this one. Oh, now he's got it turned around. If he could just get behind him. Nope, no such luck. Hmm. Man, <laughs> put weapons on the underside of that thing. Poor Eye Stabber. At least he's using his primary weapon to try to move and get mobility. Immobility warning on Wide Load. I'm pretty sure he can still move. Or can he? Oh, there he goes. Okay, both bots backing off now and for another charge. But Wide Load. Hmm. Just, um, with those drums, just, uh, I think they're rotating, 
I, I guess it'd be counterclockwise and it kicks the bot up which is a good way to get up underneath them uh, hands down to wide load I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the final match all right folks we're back with team megatons undead beat versus the bot that beat me the scrappers backyard shredder And without further delay, without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm probably going to put my money on Backyard Shredder. He's getting up to full spinning speed. Looks like he's dealing a massive amount of damage against that skirt, but that hammer might be able to take off the weapon, and there it goes. Oh, man, it's all undead beat now. Ah, vengeance is sweet. Vengeance is sweet. <laughs> a dish best served cold. Like my soul. <laughs> Looks like Undead Beat is just racking up the points now. Backyard Shredder was banking it all on that primary weapon. He is not even getting any more points now. Now that it's just a hammer smashing match, I'm going to try to get a better angle on that. Um, on that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap. There we go. Better angle there. Kind of in the corner. Corner patrol zone. Backyard Shredder still able to get a few points with the spikes, but really nothing he can do against that devastating hammer. Could he possibly push Undead Beat into the pit, though, if he had just enough control? Trying to get those close in camera angles. Proving a wee bit difficult, but still trying to get him. Oh, if Backyard Shredder could just. Actually, why root for Backyard Shredder? Screw Backyard Shredder. He beat me. Undead Beat, go! Go, Undead Beat! Of course, if. Uh, Backyard Shredder loses, that means I'll just have to face him again in the, lo uh, the uh, loser's bracket at some point, so that pretty much sucks. Uh, we're looking at a countdown. Undead Beat with over 24,000 points. Ooh, and pushing Backyard Shredder into the, the saw blade traps. Backyard Shredder missing half of his robot. This is the last hit. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was the last one. The match goes straight to Undead Beat. I believe it could have gone either way, but... As soon as Backyard Shredder loses that primary weapon, he's done. If only I could have done that to him. Um, I had the flame, I had the claws for flipping and the flamethrower. I just didn't have something to take off that primary weapon, so I'll have to remember that uh, if I ever go up against him again. But we'll get that uh, next match going and see what these bots can do. You know, in the actual robot, um, in the actual BattleBot series. Uh, not in Robot Wars, I don't think. I think they kept their boss the same as they were, but in Robot Wars, they would change out certain parts and pieces in between rounds. I remember that. And I've thought about... Ooh, I didn't know that. Look at the middle spike. It spins independently. I had no idea about that. Um, Backyard Shredder taking massive amounts of side damage, but as long as he can keep his primary weapon... Ooh, getting up underneath Undead Beat right now. That is going to help him out a lot. If he can deal massive damage to those tires, I think he can really win this or turn it around. We might be seeing a round three, which even though I'm rooting against Backyard Shredder, I'd like to see a round three just for the pure excitement factor. Come on, hang in there. Make it the last round. Ooh, he's losing a lot of stability for losing a lot of those little spike balls. Getting up underneath Undead Beat, though, dealing massive amounts of damage to the tire. As I was saying earlier, oh, Undead Beat loses his primary weapon this one. Oh man, the, the, the damage, the destruction, the carnage. There is a lot of flailing going on right now. Um, it looks like if they're not careful, they could activate that. Um, actually, Undead Beat is trying to push Backyard Shredder into the um, middle section of the arena, which really would have helped him. But Undead Beat is just too unstable right now. He's going in all kinds of crazy directions. After, lo after having lost most of the spike balls from his primary weapon. I, I don't know what I would do in this situation if I was Backyard Shredder or Undead Beat. Um, Backyard Shredder has lost pretty much all control. Undead Beat has pretty much lost all ability to damage and defend himself. Uh, I think it's going to go to a point count. We're looking at Backyard Shredder with 45,000. With over 45,000 and Undead Beat with over 27,000. So unless he can somehow get a miracle here and puts, push Undead Beat into the pit, which, oh, it looks like he might be trying that. Oh, Undead Beat has, or Backyard Shredder has, no, it's Undead Beat that's lost a tire. 
Let me see if I can get a better camera angle on this. Ooh, I'm going to lose him for a second. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, and there's round three. Backyard Shredder just barely pulls it off in sheer luck, might I add, with over 48,000 points. Honestly, though, that was actually lucky because um, he had no control at all. He was just a spinning bot at that point. But look at all the parts and pieces. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good third round, I hope. Uh, let's get to the third round and see what these bots can do. Let me get that written down real quick. One for Undead Beat and one for Backyard Shredder. We're one and one in the best uh, two out of three final round here. Looking at these two bots lining up just the same as before, but this time it looks like Undead Beat is getting the heavy hits on the front part of Backyard Shredder's weapon, and if he's not careful, that's going to end up just like it did the first time. Backyard Shredder's going to lose his primary weapon, and then he's going to be in big trouble, and there it goes. I've seen it. I've seen this enough times to know. <laughs> just like the old SpongeBob episode. What? 47 times? Ooh, could, um, could uh, Backyard Shredder possibly push Undead Beat into the pit here? I think based on his tires and just, to, ooh, 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 that's bad. Ooh, ooh, that's bad. Looks like I'll be facing uh, Backyard Shredder in the loser's bracket now. Um, Undead Beat is just... Ooh, um, scoring hit after hit uh, on the underside of that chassis. Oh man, and Backyard Shredder's taking like saw blade damage. I'm pretty sure this is it. He's lost two tires. There went the second one just now. Uh, and a count out's going. And he's taking saw blade damage. This is hard to watch. Uh oh. And there's his control CPU, and it's done. It goes to Undead Beat. Undead Beat goes to the finals with over 36,000 points. That was it. Uh, I'll get that written down. And uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's come out of here so you can actually hear me over the crowd. That was the Robot Arena 2 DSL mod heavyweight tournaments of robotic champions. I hope you enjoyed the match and the matches. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.